Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, I wanted to talk about the law of assumption. I'm pretty sure you've heard about the law of attraction and uh, basically what that is, is it's all in the big box of manifestation. So manifesting is basically when you use your brain power and your, how do I say, you use more of your spiritual side to get things done in this world. You make things happen without physically having to do it. Like, for example, you want a good job, you can get a good job by getting a good degree, networking a lot and going to interviews. But then if you're not in the right headspace and if you don't have certain beliefs about yourself, you still might not get a good job. You might, but you also might not. Uh, where on the other hand, if you also have a really good belief system and you manifest it, then you have a higher chance of getting it. So you can manifest things in different ways. You can manifest it by like doing it physically, but you can manifest it by also doing it spiritually or attracting it to you spiritually, uh, if that makes sense. Kind of, if that makes sense, right? And the whole spiritual part or the more of the mental part is called law of attraction. As I'm sure you've heard about it, law of attraction. It's all over the internet. But there's something else called the law of assumption. Um, and law of assumption is basically you're assuming that what you want is so obviously going to happen. Like you're so convinced of it. You're so sure, you're so confident. So for example, law of attraction is great, but a lot of times law of attraction is like, I feel like it's it's not enough, you know? For example, if you want something to happen, you can't just think your way to it. I know some people think you can, I don't believe you can 100%, like, I don't think so. But the law of assumption is basically like you're assuming that, you're assuming that good things are gonna happen to you. You're assuming that you're the best. You're assuming that, of course, you're going to have a good husband. Of course, people love you. And if they don't, then there, something's wrong with them. Like, you have that belief. So, law of assumption is like, fake it, kind of fake it till you make it. And I think it, like, incorporates into many different aspects of your life. Like, let's say as a girl. Like, if you're assuming that all men cheat, you know, and I know... Yeah, I know a lot of people think all men cheat. I don't think so. Uh, but like, if you're assuming that that's the case, then you know, yeah, that might reflect on your experiences as well. Or if you're assuming that having a job is so nerve wracking and takes so much of your energy and it's always a bad boss and everything is bad and there's so much politics, then that might be what you will experience. Because when you assume, like, let's say if you have certain beliefs in your brain, your brain is gonna want to give you that experience to prove that what you think is right. You know what I mean? So let's say a lot of times when people believe something, they don't wanna find out anything new. Like they will Google things that reinforce that what they believe is true. They won't try to find a truth, they will try to find facts that align with what they already believe. So it's the same thing, like if you have these kind of belief systems that are not good for you or whatever, uh, or that are very negative, by default, because of law of assumption, you're assuming this and that is what's going to happen. Uh, I hope that makes sense. So for example, is I, I'm going to give you some examples of negative assumptions. So food makes me fat, all girls are fake, all men are horrible, all men are cheaters, all men do X, Y, and Z, you know, the list goes on. It's really hard to find a job. It's really hard to make money. I don't know what business to start. I'm really bad at business. I was not so fortunate, therefore, I don't think I can make it in life. All these belief systems that you have is going to manifest. And now, it's not, I'm not saying that if you have negative beliefs, it's your fault, or if you have negative assumptions, it's not your fault. Because a lot of times our assumptions like come from childhood or what our parents used to assume about themselves or what we have heard growing up or even in like our adult life. So it's not to say that it's your fault, but if you look at other people that have had privilege and that have had good assumptions into fed into their brain and they've also been lucky because 
the things that has happened to them also reinforces their positive assumptions. So um, when when you see the kind of assumptions they have, you see that there's a like a big difference between people that have a negative assumption and people that have positive assumptions or um, empowering assumptions. Um, now, of course, there is like, be realistic. Of course, if you're like in a war zone, you can be like, oh, you're having bad assumptions, like law of assumption. I, it doesn't work like that, of course. But um, in most situations, no matter the kind of situation you're in, you can use the law of assumption and you can assume certain things and good things will happen to you. Um, and uh, as a girly, you can use the law of assumption in your work life, in your dating life, with your kids. You can use the law of assumption to set a certain standard when you're um, dating someone. So it can be like, of course I'm only, of course I'm not gonna date a cheater. Of course I'm not gonna date this kind of guy. Why would I do that? No. You know, you have that kind of um, assumption. And when you have these assumptions, it's almost like a boundary that you're setting because it's so beneath you. It's not even in your bubble. Like it's not even in your world. Of course I'm gonna make money. What are you talking about? So even if your business fails or whatever, you still have that assumption like this business failed. That means I have to learn something from it because I already know that I am a, I'm going to do great. I am not a loser. I'm not going to fail. So whatever. You don't like your workplace. You have terrible boss and you quit and you're like, yeah, it's okay. I know who I am. I know what I'm going to manifest. I know what I can do. And that is something you have to know. And that is something that you are going to forget because we're humans. We do forget. But you need to have that belief and you need to remind yourself with the law of assumption that like we're talking about now and be like, no, 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 no. That is beneath me. That is not what I want to manifest. That is not what I need. That is not what I want in my life. So do not assume things that are so beneath you. If that's not the kind of life you want, if that's not what you want to manifest, why are you walking around with these assumptions? Like, make it make sense. If you want to have money and you want to live a financially, like, safe and secure life, why are you being like, oh, oh my God, everything is so expensive, everything is so this, oh, you know, no one is being generous to me, I can't afford anything, I can't do this, I, I can't buy that dress I want. Relax. Don't say these kind of things to yourself. Even if that's in your reality right now, you know very well, if you're someone that manifests things, if you want to get good things in your life, if you know you can put in the work, you know that you can do something about it. And for example, like let's say you're in what, a shitty situation, you don't have money or whatever, and you can't um, afford certain things right now. Just watch what you say to yourself. Even if you're in a shitty situation, watch your mouth. Watch what you tell yourself because everything you're saying, your brain is registering. So don't be like, oh my God, everything is so expensive. Everything is so la 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 la. Be like, yeah, I'm gonna have some self-control and I'm gonna spend less. Or yeah, I'm gonna prioritize other things with my money. Or um, yeah, this is not, I don't need this right now. I don't need a dress right now. I'm gonna buy this later when I need it. You know, like relax with the kind of words you say because whatever you say, it's, it's, it's like a vicious cycle. But anyway, so that is law of assumption. Basically, what you assume is what's going to happen. You assume that you're going to get treated well and you're not going to accept anything less. And that will manifest into your reality. Um, so yeah, good luck and I hope uh, you learned something.